Welcome back to some professional StarCraft to a match for the ages. Two of the most storied players in StarCraft to grinding it out over over a decade. Let me first introduce with two less SCVs, make that three than he probably should have, inside of his base to start off this best of five. The People's Terran. It is Cure. Now, in a very similar, of less cost efficiency, but more macro style, uh, we have one of the best Zergs of Wings of Liberty looking to reclaim that past glory and finding some success today. It's Dong Regu, DRG. He still loves those Lings and Banes, and we'll see if they love him back as we're starting off with a 3 racks proxy. I don't know if that's a wall, but... He's, he's building the third racks further back, so that way if the Overlord scouts it, which it very well might, he only sees two, and the response to a two racks is to pull drones and deal with it. The response to a three racks is essentially cut your losses and try to minimize damage, because this is pretty much all in for, for Cure here. He needs to do damage, but unfortunately, or possibly fortunately for DRG, he did not scout it. This is so far out. I, I don't know if scouting it would help, because Cure is intentionally playing this mind game. But DRG does not scout it, which means this will come as a total surprise. And this is how we're starting the series. All right. I, he, he starts the... Oh, my God. And here we go. DRG, he sees it. He knows. He, he sees the bunker. He's not bothering with anything in particular. Here come some marines. He knows they're behind it, obviously. Can't build a bunker till the racks is done. And a measured response. DRG not even bothering. Uh, he's not going to try to shut it down. It's already started. That bunker is very likely. It's already finished. The uh, Ling's trying to buy some time. And unfortunately for DRG, his larva on this side of the map pops out near the bunker. Uh, which makes it that much more vulnerable. He's going to lose the base. He's going to hold the high ground. That's the plan. He's already decided the plan for this. Oh, the Zerglings on the run. They're not going to make it, but every second counts now. Cancels the other larvae. Wow, that's a... He bought himself a lot of time there. So, <clears throat> we're going to have to go back to the math board as DRG will lose an expansion. Cure has nothing at home. The broodlings pop out. There are 14 more zerglings on the way. This is a very Wings of Liberty SK. Is he really going to try to burrow that? He's going to try to burrow the spine crawler before the creep recedes on the area the hatchery used to be. And if he places it in the right spot, it can actually outrange even the marines in the bunker. So, a clever move here. Has to be careful. Like, he can't build a hatchery while this is happening. There's still three SCVs to repair, which is a bit awkward here. Zergling speed. That creep tumor, does that creep tumor block the base? I mean, you can always cancel it, but still. Yeah, the SCVs buying as much time as they can. This is still very costly here. Gets out of there, no salvage. And, uh, yeah, I think he's good to go. Okay, well. DRG cleans it up. Here already has most of the marines. He's got all the racks flying back. Doesn't even bother scouting with them as he's seen pretty much all the information there is. He knows there are speedlings. He knows there's a spine crawler. You can't have much else at this stage. He's got three racks already good to go. That is a, a boon as time goes on. But he does not have that expansion on the low ground. So the question will be, does DRG continue to, uh, to try to deny the expansion. He's got a third hatch, so uh, the longer he can deny the expo, the better off he's going to be, but without additional hatcheries, without the larva, uh, and with minimal creep spread, he's got to be a bit careful of overdoing it. Uh, this, is, this is where we play a whole lot of poker here. Uh, neither player going to be able to know exactly what their opponent is doing, they don't know when they're going to choose to move out. Like, DRG could be building a baneling nest and a bunch of banelings outside the base. Cure doesn't know for sure. Uh, whereas, at the same time, Q 
Cure might decide to move out with the first set of Marines and the Medevac. Or he might have a third CC in his main. And right now, DRG does not know. All right, Cure. Going to keep most of the Marines up the ramp. This is splitting the difference, which can work. I, he's suspicious of an all-in, thus the marines up the ramp. But as time goes on, the suspicions become less uh, imminent, and he is moving down. Which means, for a few more seconds, any baneling bust would be dangerous, but the marine count is high enough, and with Stim and, and Medivax finishing, it's become almost obsolete. DRG has 44 drones and count. He finished his bane nest. It's always an awkward spot without Bane speed because Marines with Stim, even on, even on creep, can out micro your Bane. Moves. Then again, these are Cures Marines, well known for making up in quantity what they lack in quality. Uh, of course, DRG is almost exactly the same player as Zerg. He uh, focuses on the amount of units rather than exactly what they can do. But we'll see here. Who comes out on the better end of it? As as we have Badelings in production, a handful of queens, not that much energy. I don't maybe one transfuse? Yes. Are there enough Banelings to actually deal with this? He's continuing to build them. Lair is on the way. Without Baneling speed though, it is unreliable closing the distance. Getting a little damage on the meta back here, but overall, DRG deflecting the drop for now, but here threatening the main. It actually has too many marine. Spine crawler on the edge of the main to zone this out. Pretty smart move there. Probably the best use of the spine crawler at this later stage. The queens trying to find an angle. The banelings closing in. And a bit of an awkward position forces Kira back to the corner. Yeah, looks like we're going to fight for every bit of tech here. Stim marines coming in. Queen gets caught. DRG a little out of position. The most predictable possible. Curse your sudden but inevitable betrayal. Well, not really a betrayal here, but that was the most obvious move. Still, though, DRG gets caught off guard, and he ends up losing several queens. Here loses a medevac, but so far this th these medevacs have done exactly what they needed to do. They kept DRG busy. They limited his drone count. They limited his tech. They limited his creep. And with those limitations, he's been unable to put any pressure on Cure, who's now at 45 SCVs, which, eh. Uh, he still only has those three racks. So while he has a third CC done, it's not, he's not rolling in the minerals on the other side of the map. It's not like he has that huge economy that three CC opens up with. So still needs to be careful with his units as the summary. DRG trying to sneak out every drone without undervaluing Lings and Banes. That's a lot of Banelings now. He's up to 16 of them. And on creep, those are definitely enough to deal with drops. Third base is scouted. 11 more drones inspired here. Manually detonates the Banelings in order to kill the Widow Mine. Um, oh, this is awkward. The Marines are chasing the Banes. Cure looking for an opportunity. Cure's at a thousand minerals back home. He's like, oh my god, micro time! And then realizes maybe it wasn't quite micro time yet. The SCV's on this high ground. There's still a couple Widow Mines up there as well to protect. Four SCV's down. Cure struggling to get that third base secured. DRG with 1-1 one, one on the way. Oh, Cure forgot his upgrades. Oh, no. He finished the NG base like a minute ago, but he never started the 1-1. One, one. He's got 600 gas. That's actually a pretty big mistake. And if this game comes down to something any later, I, I think that definitely could be it. That's, that's a significant and avoidable mistake, but it's been a bit of a hectic match so far. Especially more lings and banes coming in. DRG starting to secure his position. He's got a fourth base. He's got 74 drones. He's got 1-1 one, one finishing. Widow Mines, not quite in position. The Zerglings get in, but do they want to even be here? Banelings closing in. Widow Mine doesn't connect, but are there enough Banes? Yes, for now. Seven more SCVs. Cure is in a precarious position, especially with 1-1 one, one finishing. 
DRG is going to have the upgrade advantage. He's held on. He's played. He, he's balanced his drone and Ling production well enough past the proxy racks, and now is in a comfortable spot. He's got the creep spread coming out. He's got his fourth base secured. He's continually pressuring Cure. What's not to love? All we need to see is like an infestation pit and some hydras. And he should be able to drive Cure off the entire map. Yeah, as you see for now, when you don't have any anti-air, well, guess what happens? <laughs> he can just pick up and get out. And for now, he will. Oh. Oh, still, got to be a little careful. He's trying to line up the Marines. Slurps them up. Still uncontested. There's the infestation pit. We got some more Hydra upgrades. DRG, starting to add the Hydras in. Oh, the Spore Crawlers. Whoa! Unfortunately, it looks like the Moopies will be feasting tonight. As you see, they've already got a Marine on the spit. Maybe some stormtroopers next. Whoop. Diffuses a mine. At least uh, puts it on cooldown here. And SCVs under attack. The Banelings are closing in, but down goes the bunker. The Zergling counterattacks are just doing too much here. Five more SCVs. Widow Mines might, might blunt this a bit, but... Well, the drop on the left side. Cure running out of steam here. He doesn't have 2-2 on the way. He's struggling right now. DRG is closing in. Yeah, without 2-2, uh, there's nothing here that gets better for Kier. He doesn't have any sort of... His army doesn't get any better. He's just adding more Marines and Mines, whereas Kier, DRG is already going up to high. The mines have been dealt with. That one, actually, only one thing. He's handling the Mines perfectly. DRG nearly maxed. He hasn't started the Lurker den yet. But, uh, if I spoke a few seconds later, well, I might have been inaccurate, but realizing, yeah, that's maybe a priority. The only thing that's dangerous to him now are those critical Widowmine hits. And the Lurkers all but slice him off the field. Cure holding. He just now started that plus two weapons. Which, uh... The Marine's not going to be able to stack up. He's already struggling against the Lings and Banes. It's only going to get worse. DRG had 74 drones, but not for long. He's adding 13 more, and he's maxed out. So, at this point, there's no reason not to keep throwing units into attack. Here has zero Marauders. He's got 70 Marines, two tanks, 10 Medivacs, and six Widowmines. He's going with the mass Marine strats. We'll see if he can find the fights. Tries to target some Banes. Quickly realizes that's an optimistic endeavor. More tanks on the way. Huge clump of mo. Oh my god, the Widowmines got dragged into the Medivacs. Cure is just stutter stepping. The Banelings are getting too close. Oh, doesn't quite do enough. It feels like he's just treading water right now. Cure slowly drowning under the weight of these, these Banelings. And finally, they close into the third. Lifts the orbital here. DRG driven back for now, but gets a few SCVs and a bunch more Marines. That Widowmine is very much stuck under there. Ooh. Widowmine's taking some bites. We've got Adrenal Glance. We got Lurker Range. Vipers on the way. Everything coming together for DRG right now. Cure getting his 2 2. And, and he still has a solid army supply. He's sitting at 100. So that's more than enough to win a good fight. Lur well, ghosts are going to be a long way off. He's, Ooh. He's sitting at slightly less than 100. Now. Here, fought in the wrong spot at the wrong time, which is becoming increasingly possible. As DRG is, uh, he's looking for reasons to fight right now. There's no reason for him to sit back. His army doesn't really get better except for Banelings. Um, and there you go. The only way to make his army stronger right now is to add Banelings in. 
which give you that extra alpha damage, the first initial hit that win you the fight, so that way the rest of the units can get the damage done later on. That's a lot of tanks, but almost no marines to protect them. He's, he's dropping out into the veins. Some juicy target fire potential, but the orbital itself under attack, burning with the 19 SCVs that go down alongside. Ah. You're struggling. Oh, the Viper! Well, that was a bit of a consolation. Full energy Vipers wander into the Marines, which is not great, but the orbital will it burn! Uh, cure! Cure! Either way, this entire game is on fire right now. Um, it's not gonna get... Cure may notice at this awkward timing he starts preparing as the units come in. But there are just so many Zerglings. DRG can refill this army time and time again, whereas Cure hasn't been maxed out the whole match. Looks like those Lings and Banes may be too much. Gets a factory. Another round of units. Widowmine. It hurts, but... He hasn't even built a Lurker yet. Uh, the tank count being whittled down, the SCV count under 50, the orbital under attack, and he might actually just get it. Oh my god. Oh, get the Hydras. Both these players very much about the quantity over the quality. Except the quantity... Oh my, speaking of quantity, those are 11 medivacs. <laughs> Since the Vipers died and there's no parasitic bomb, and he also managed to lose all but one Hydralisk. Um, well... Lose is a strong word. He's actually morphing four lurkers right now. Um, finding a new way to not kill medevacs. But if there's no marine, then what's the point of the medevacs? The marines stand their ground. As the banelings come in, oh, he's going to find the lurkers. Oh, he's very much found the... Oh, my God. He scouts the lurkers. He scouts out the correct response, which is two Gs. Game one goes to DRG. A decisive man. He he just he just gave up the hatch. I love I love the quick and decisive you can't go back and forth. You can't just lose like two, three drones. You're like, oh maybe I can kill the one. No. No. He just gave it up. He amputated the hatch. And he stopped the attack right there and he dealt with it. And Kira really never got any momentum back, which is uh, a very comfortable response. I, I'm sure DRG DRG has been proxy racks more times than your average Diamond Leaguer has played games. So, uh, in, in being a professional since Wings of Liberty, I guarantee you the proxy racks is he's dealt with number in the mid-thousands. So, a An interesting attempt from Cure, and I really thought he was in an okay spot, but... Yeah. That's kind of the uh, the cure difference there, though. I think Maru in that spot with two medevacs and marines and a decent worker count. I don't see DRG getting map control out of that one. But cure, not quite able to use those medevacs as to as uh. It's more of a, um, more of a, a hammer than a than a surgeon's scalpel for cure. Uh, he he just throws the medevacs at a location, says go kill some things over there, and they do their job, but they're not precision tools. Cure with a CC first on the other end of the spectrum of builds here. DRG may very well be expecting some early shenanigans on Waterfall, the smallest map in the pool. But you're playing the series here. I think a smart move. A little bit of a gamble, but StarCraft is all about making uh, decisions with imperfect information. Playing your At this level, it's playing your opponent just as much as you're playing the game. Uh and trying to figure out what they're going to do before they do it. Like, I don't know if, if it was Maru, would DRG have just given up his natural? 
Eh, maybe. If it went unscouted that long, probably, but... Uh, I, I sh assure you, he's played Cure enough to know. Like, if I just, just hold on. Just live. Just live. Factory on the way. DRG lays down his third hatch. Will he go 3cc? I'd love to see a battle cruiser build. Uh, it's been a little bit since we've seen those, especially outside of Stargazers, but... Uh, this would be a yeah, very counter meta strat would be battle cruiser on this map. Uh, I don't think it's necessarily a bad choice. It's still strong. It's just not as strong as it once was. It got nerfed a little bit from its initial um, buffs. Man, dead. Uh, approximately one lifetime ago. Like 2018 or so. It's a knee breaker build. Mm-hmm. The Marauders hold the Queens down and the Hellbats roast them. But he is starting with a Viking, so it's going to be a high like a high unit count. It's not gonna be like the first four Marauders, it looks like. But instead he's gonna go with He's going in with the first heli. He runs in with the first. Who does that? He gets five drones. That's disrespectful, in my opinion. Um, and I think DRG thinks so as well. The problem is, since you DRG did not go, he didn't really build any lanes. So five drones died at two heliots, which is incredibly unfortunate. Viking gets an Overlord here, and DRG going to be much more likely to, to try to replace that drone count. He's going to try to replace, and he needs to replace a couple Overlords as well because of the Viking. So right now, what does he have? He's got six Queens, which are usually a great response to almost anything. But this build in particular, this build is a Queen Killer. Oh, Brenda. What are those? Ah, uh, he gets a little bit of warning here. He gets up to the top of the ramp. And the medevac becomes very important. But at the same time, you need to target units. Like, you can't let the unit count get to either Hellbats. Probably the slowest moving fight in SC2 here. The Queens close in. The medevac vulnerable. He saves it. And with the queens kind of stacking up, it becomes that much easier to deal with. Down to two queens here. The medevac at one HP, effectively. Finally goes down. Still a couple of hellbats in the back. A couple banelings on the way. The queens are popping out, but there's a, in a world of fire. The banelings should be able to at least soften up the hellbats, and the zerglings will do the rest. The viking could just lift at this stage. Oh, no. Well, the Hellions on creep makes things difficult. He lifts the Viking maybe a bit late. And DRG has dealt with it. A slow moving attack, especially once the concussive shells kick in. Ah, all right. Um, eh, not great, not terrible, I think. The question really is what happened behind it. How much else was accomplished? Since DRG didn't really lose much economy, but he lost queens. Thing is, he doesn't need those queens very much at this stage. It's not huge, and he's already rebuilt them. At the same time, Cure delayed his third, but here, I think, is your key point. The upgrades. He's got 1-1 one, one on the way. He's going to have it at least a minute quicker, if not longer. DRG has not started Evo Chambers. He'll start them, though, right now. DRG, two Evo Chambers. If I was DRG, right here. Thank you. Because he's kind of scrambling, figuring out exactly what he missed during all that. And unfortunately, the Evo Chambers slipped through the cracks. Uh, and that is you can build a game off those upgrades. 
that's a huge difference. With having Marines and Medivacs with better upgrades, you require Banelings. It's no longer like Banelings are helpful. With down two upgrades, Banelings are required. It's... The Zerglings will not do anything against two Medivacs and Marines. So, Armory, remember, we'll see if Cure remembers, is already done. Because he opened up with the Hellbat build. Another benefit of it. I've come around slightly on the Hellbats. I mean, most players are doing Hellbat combos. It's no longer, I'm just sending six Hellbats across the map. It's Hellbat Marauder, like Hellbat Banshee. It's not Hellbat, period. Uh, as, as they're much better at getting in the way and making things annoying as opposed to killing things themselves. DRG, under attack, under pressure, 1-1 one, one just started, begins his hive. Because, of course he does. Um, that is certainly one response. It, it is not a particularly quick in, in a vacuum hive, but considering what's happened so far, an obscenely fast hive. Oh. Plus two attack starts. Yeah, Kira remembers. DRG is going to secure his four bases, but I think Kira going to be a little more comfortable than he was last game. Assuming he doesn't just lose one of these drops immediately. There are some Widow Mines, but Banelings deal with a couple of them. And another set of Marines. They jump back to the Medivacs. Be careful with those things. You're doing a good job of minimizing damage so far. What are the, like? What is the hive for, though? Don't tell me it's Ultras. Like, it can't just be Vipers here, right, though? It's going to be Vipers, but... I'm... I'm Got a, got a suspicion. Adrenal glands. All right, 2-2 two -two is going to want to start. Obviously Vipers, but DRG is not a big Viper player. He loves his Lisks, and especially his Lynx. So, looks like some Widow Mines connecting. Deals with some of them. Adrenal glands. Like, just Adrenal glands. Uh, the biggest damage upgrade for Zerglings. Starts a couple Vipers. Now his his gas is gone for now, so we'll see as time goes on. But Ooh, he's struggling. There's no bane links. There's no bane links. You need bane links. Bane links are not optional. Oh my god! And DRG learning. He has 14 bane links, but oh my! The cost efficiency of the Metavax really starting. Oh, he's got another drop. The revolving door of Medivax. It's not getting any easier here. There's the Ultralis Cavern, but... Ultralis are a hard unit to make work when your opponent is already in all your bases. They're a better closer than they are an opener. Well, great target fire. Cure picks off the Baneling and, and able to stand behind those. Like, the Ultras are a bit of a Hail Mary at the moment. It is a very tough map to deal with, these rotating drops. Oh my, wow, beautiful. Beautiful target fire from Cure. Don't sound surprised, he's a professional. Beautiful target fire. You know what's not beautiful is losing all your medevacs to, oh God. With, with units and, oh my, oh wow. Oh geez. Oh. Hmm. Huh. Well. That isn't as good. <laughs> uh, those Marines feeling very stressed out right now. The Vipers. The Hive is at half HP, and I think half of it is from the consume. It's like, I mean, well, another attack. So those are good. He manages to unload here. God, those 2-2 two -two Marines. They can tank the Zerglings for so long. Oh, the Widow Mines, they don't have Drilling Claws, though. Oh, oh my god, he got the Banelings with the Widow Mines somehow. Oh, the Parasitic Bombs are really working here. Meanwhile, we're fighting on the north side, still a few mines. But Cure has lost a lot of his supply advantage, he even picks up into the Command Center's SCVs. Oh my god. DRT makes too many links. It's actually making me want to turn down my graphic settings because 
over a hundred zerglings and banelings really like we're at over a hundred right now well now we're not thank you <laughs> down to 99 thank you thank you care <laughs> uh, well One Ultra on the way. Chitinous plating already done. Ultra speed being added in. Cured once again does not have a Ghost Academy. He's just not built one it, until it... I, I don't know if he even built one last game. So... Oh, God. Oh, those... Oh, no. He doesn't even need to use the Vipers when he has Widow Mines. The Widow Mines knock down two full men. Oh. Oh, that feels great as a Zerg. This feels less great as the Queens wander into the Marines. Meanwhile, the Ultra's chewing through a questionable blinding cloud. Somehow the base. All right. Oh my God. What am I watching? Wow. These two are really about the quantity. Like I said, these are quantity players, and we're seeing it here as the Ultras all die to the planetary, but 29 SCVs have died in the last minute. And it's not done yet. He's running out of SCVs to lose. The rest are at his main in natural. The planetary does live. Ah, uh, another drop. No Widow Mines to kill. He loses an Ultra here. So uh, Three Ultras down, 350 Lings in 13 minutes. Which... I, I can't even do math that high, which, shut up, <laughs> like and subscribe, don't even, make that like button go up higher than the, the Ling's lost, it's a competition. Uh, we got some infestors on the way, which are like, I, I'm 50-50 on whether or not those are going to get any spells off at this rate. Somehow, DRG managed to to break his entire, well, most of his army on the planetary. Cure holds the line, but loses a lot of economy on the left flank. Meanwhile, the Ultra's chewing, but Widow Minds take out the brunt of units, and Cure going to be able to close in. As long as the Metavacs are there, the Marauder Count might be high enough. There's still some Widow Minds, but wait, there's a counterattack. Some Widow Minds on this side, diffused. Going to be dealt with with an Overseer here. Uh, five more SCVs down. Down to 36 SCVs. Cure really needs to make something happen here. There's Infestors. They don't have the energy for Fungal yet. Oh, my God. And he's going to lose one of them to a Widow Mine, which he could see, by the way. Uh, an Orbital taking critical damage on the other side. Not quite burning yet. Some more Widow Mines. Here comes Cure. Widow Mines killing both sides. Uh, building some more infestors. Here, running out of supply here, but still enough army on the field to be dangerous. The medevacs are nearly out of energy. The Widowmite almost kills another fester. This base, a few good marauder hits away from death. Oh, he needs a transfuse or something. The hatchery in the red. There's not that well. Huge counterattack again. They just keep unburrowing. Okay, he runs in it, but it looks like unburrowing. He loses so many banelings, but at the same time, cures economy. You need to finish walling this off, I guess. I don't know. I don't... The hatchery gonna go down, but the fungals are a threat. Only catches three marines. There's another infester. It doesn't have energy for fungal. The ultras are off creep. They get joint pain and even more pain as the concussive shell marauders. They don't slow down the ultras, but they make them feel very bad. Meanwhile, Widowmine hits, but guess what? More zerglings on the left flank. Here, moves to intercept. He will for now. Plus three, plus three is done for both sides. Oh, they were burrowed. Uh, which means, I guess, Bandling Burrow could become a factor, though we'll see. Like, what are you going to hit at this point as the army has 24 Marauders in it? Oh, the Infestors again! Ah, he misses almost everything. But he does have some Vipers. Parasitic Bomb, not used. Blinding Cloud. Oh, the, a lot of Blinding Clouds, which force the Marines into the Ultras, but it doesn't matter! As Cure grinds through it, he takes open field fights and the Terran army spreads out and stims them down. Cure takes it back. Oh my god, what a mess. Uh, no ghosts, no lurkers, arguably no infestors. Like, 
Oh, a brawl out there. Um, I mean, some entertaining games for sure, but here manages to hold it together long enough. DRG's cost efficiency started plummeting. And we're all tied up going into game three on Data C. <laughs> wow. Um... Oh, and that is, that is how I've seen DRG lose. He keeps, he bludgeons his way into the uh, eh, mid stages of the tournament, but he, he kind of refuses to play a slower style. He wants to send Zerglings towards every base. Honestly, you know what he really wants? Mutas. But even DRG knows that they're far too much of a liability. Ultralisks are kind of a liability themselves, but they're harder to lose to one Widowmine, so... And <laughs> that is their benefit. <laughs> and they're a lot of fun. Um, Mutas are just too expensive, and they are take way too much babysitting. Whereas Ultras are just... There's really no late game Lisk that that works great on the open field against a Terran army. Um, Lings and Banes are are still often the the best choice because just overwhelmingly it's not giving them anything to target. It really looked like Cure was gonna fall, but I can't believe D you know what DRG did. He made the mistake that every Zerg player makes at least once every, I don't know, 30 or so games, which is trying to kill a planetary. You just right click on the planetary. You're like, I got it, right? I, I got it. He didn't get it. He lost multiple ultras, like 50 lengths, and he didn't get it. Like, <laughs> And that opened up the opportunity to, to give, like, Cure got momentum off that. He had enough army supply to start attacking. He didn't get it. Uh, and you can't, like, you can't blame him. It's in the red. Two ultras could kill it, right? The People's Zerg versus the People's Terran. What a match. A match made on the ladder. Another CC first from Cure. By the way, will he do another concussive build? I think it did fine. It, it could have gone better. Definitely could have gone worse. Like, just kind of left us in that middle ground. DRG's upgrades were very solid. Ah, okay. Roach, Warren, on the way. All right, DRG. And, uh, it's been a while. Fusion! Warren! <laughs> It's a battle cruiser time for Cure. He finally. But will will he di will he die to roaches first? That's the question. Uh. Uh. That is that is a much more relevant one. Is when you go battle cruiser. It battle cruisers are not the quickest unit to build. There's already nine roaches in production before the fusion core finishes. So. Uh, he builds a ba he builds a banshee. Okay, I like it. I, I like it. He's playing it safe. That'll put a timer on things. And then he cancels the banshee. And he starts a battle cruiser. He didn't see the roaches yet. Uh oh. The the queens pushed him away. DRG taking the round of boot path. Oh uh, no. Okay. Well. Uh, he still sees nothing. 
A battle cruiser will eventually deal with this, obviously. There's oh my god. There's just no info. Is he, he's getting suspicious, I think. But it's already. Oh no. There's two Hellions. That's it. That's the whole. There's no bunker. The battle cruiser's halfway done. The roaches will get through. He's actually gonna go for the command center. DRG. DRG. Um, make a decision here. <laughs> or, um... I think at this point, if you're Cure, you just jump the battlecruiser across the map. Like... DRG is doing a whole lot of... What is he... I don't know... Now well, he gets in. And now he realizes, maybe I should have been a bit more hasty about it. Uh, so 10 SCVs. He didn't quite finish. Yeah, th I don't think that did great. He jumps. All right. It, while DRG got a ton of drones behind it, now he has this flying laser bathtub to deal with. Yeah. It doesn't, it just shrugs off the knitting needles from the queens. Kills five drones. He forced multiple spores, so that already helps limit the drone count. There is no Zergling speed, by the way. He went straight into the roaches. The Vikings gonna actually supply block. Wow, the supply is pretty rough. Um, actually. But he does... Now, this is important. He has a battle cruiser, so... The supply is not great, but part of that is roaches. Roaches are not incredibly supply efficient, which means they take up a lot of supply for the cost and effectiveness. Um, but they build quick and easy, and uh, aptly named in that case. DRG, we are all watching. This is professional StarCraft. That was, yep, he blocked his base with a creep tumor. Everyone saw that. He had the drone kill it. Which doesn't take too long, but... <laughs> We've all been... Th the people zerg. Alright. The people's match. Battlecruiser gonna strongly discourage the roaches from sticking around. He, he's like, maybe he has no other units but that one siege tank. Unfortunately, he had other units but that one siege tank, so the roaches all die. The people, sir. Uh, we've all been there, okay? Every one of these looks like a mistake that every player has made. You just usually don't see it this level. Mm, he's gonna go Mutas. That that also put that one on the list. Well, the queens all die before the Mutas come out, which is unfortunate. One one about to finish. He's got the roaches. So with the roaches, he has more than enough to force back these medevacs. So Kira may end up getting caught out here. Yeah, seize the Mutas. The the there's more than enough to just fight the Marines, but he's not fighting the Marines. He's He's trying to target the medevacs. He loses a couple, which is the cost of the medevacs and mutas. Of course, he kills all the marines, too. So, here we are. There's still the battle cruiser, which it has the base armor to kind of shrug off the muta attacks. So, DRG's just making more mutas. I told you he wanted to. It's not a horrible call here, I don't think. The Battlecruiser isn't bad against him, though. Like, he's... <laughs> it will drag them around the map. It's not a bad backstop here for the rest of the army, where it, it's just this big overarching thing. It doesn't do that much damage, but you can target down Banelings. It's a target for the Mutas. The Marines are going to do a lot. The upgrade, so 85 to 76 workers means DRG has a slight income advantage, but his units, he doesn't have any upgrades. 
Uh, he's just now getting plus one carapace and plus one mm, flyer attack. Kira is well on his way to 2-2. Two -two. The battle cruiser is getting caught inside its own main, but it can be repaired. The reactor is taking some damage. He's trying to fight the battle cruiser. The SCVs are repairing. Loses three SCVs. Mute is driven away. Just going to throw some turrets down eventually once all these units figure out. Oh my god. What a mess. We don't mind connects. SCV. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, watch out, watch out! DRG chilling. Uh, keep him busy. Out there right now. As uh, he continually tries to maneuver this very fragile yet strong army. Oh my, the Muta's on top of everything. The Marines fall back. Those Widow Mines looking dangerous to everyone involved. It's a planetary. Uh-oh, it's a planetary. He's gonna get the planetary. But at what cost? He has lost a thousand more gas. Eh. Cure did not have uh, another command center just waiting to be plopped down over there. He's not maxed out. But he's about to have 2-2. Two, two. So this is a dangerous army. And there- Oh yeah, remember the battle cruiser? It has tactical jump. It needs to jump. Jump! The people's Terran. Oh my god! What a thing! Now he needs to repair that right now! Yesterday? God, that's so annoying! 2 HP! One more attack. Easily. One more than he needed. The four marines bravely chasing, like, 20 mutas. They get one, of course. <laughs> Meanwhile, a just a blob. A, now a much smaller blob after two Whittle Mines. Uh, ah. Well, the, the command center somehow finishes. The mutas all over the main. It's a mess again. He's able to lift the CC in time. The battle crews are helping in this fight. You're plummeting in supply. Ah. Uh, now, what am I? I mean. DRG, he has a hive done now. He's adding more mutas. Overall, it seems like DRG is winning the fights quite comfortably, but he's not closing it out. So with adrenal he's going for plus three flyer attack which i i can't remember the last time i saw that for mutas it's a bold move there's just a bunch of marines hanging they're not loitering they're guarding it's different do the mutas care um no wow drg understands that marines with no meta accent Three quarters HP, but the Thor hammer drop. Oh my! Meanwhile, here come the Lings and Banes. Now that the, everything else is out of position, a few Widow Mines burrow, some decent hits, more SCVs. The Battle Cruiser finally! Oh come on! Well, it didn't jump very far, did it? I don't think he's gonna get out of this one. <laughs> That's the designated jump location. That's where he jumped back last time, too. Unfortunately, DRG on top of it. Well, Cure is bleeding out. The mutas are doing too much. There isn't really a saving grace this time. He doesn't have the upgrades. He doesn't really have the unit composition. The mutas are too much of a mobile threat. He had, like, Cure is boosting his meta bag. He's, he's sending units to his own main, which is not really the ideal place to be right now. DRG is maxed out yet again. He's coming in with another round, and that's so many Banelings. Microing back some Widow Mines on the back line, doing their best. Widow Mines dealt with. Oh, God, the Mutas are taking a lot of damage. He picks up a Thor, able to drop it out just in time. Thor damage is a lot. But Kira is losing so much, and DRG's losing nothing at home during this. SCV's dying. He's about to have plus three flyer. Well, for whatever Muta survived this debacle, 
you're down to 46 SCVs. DRG grinding him down. Oh no. Little mind still connects, but. <laughs> he's got 90 drones. He's, he's been fluctuating between 2,500 and 1,000 more income. And gas. He's at 1,000 more gas per minute. Which is kind of an insane number for someone going mutas. He's just killing barracks. Screw your add-ons. Just go for the wrecks. And, uh, he's got plus three. Meanwhile, Banelings. They can't hit the planetary because the Zerglings are surrounding it. Uh, the Little Mines are trying. Wings are dying, but SCVs. Ah, uh, Muta's flying. 20 more down, and Cure is running out of options. Oh god, the barracks burned. <laughs> oh my. Well, we are watching Cure get beat repeatedly. He's doing no counter damage. DRG has no pressure on his side of the map. Cure is just trying to build up an army that can win off its strength alone, but he's not even remotely close to that. He's gonna have one army. And DRG keeps chopping arms off it. Plus three melee on the way. He has... Oh, plus three carapace is already done. Plus one flyer carapace. Yeah. Cure's attempt is... He's even on army supply. DRG can't build much more army supply. So. But, it, like, 39 and going up 40 something Bane Links. 22 Mutas with 3 1. Those Mutas are a real threat to anything that isn't Widow Mines. And if the Widow Mines are alone, can easily kill them too. Alright, the Banelings have to roll out, but there's just not enough. Oh god, there's no base here. He gets the Armory, which means the Widow Mines are that much easier to deal with. Oh god, that's too many. Just click on the, fla on the orbital. DRG doesn't care. This is the game he wanted to play. Once again, he loses 400 lengths. Well, not once again. This time, the Mutas. The risk Lisk that made the difference. <sighs> well, Pure, the battle cruiser was pretty good, but he didn't see the roaches for so long. DRG just, you, you never want, the best defense against Mutas is a good offense. You need to be pressuring them. You need to keep them busy. Because once you start flying medevacs back into your own main, it feels like a downward spiral. Uh, it feels like things are not going to get much better from there. But we're going into match point. Cure. Uh, th these two are so similar in their styles. And right now that is favor in DRG. You're on Stargazers. I think of all maps, like here is a good shot. And this is a very annoying map for Zerg, especially uh, in the mid game where this pocket base ends up being uh, a staging area. I, I assume what happened is he, um, DRG did veto Moondance, likely. Uh, as it's almost or even more annoying depending on who you are now, at least stargazers has enough bases you can take another so wow cure here's like i'm gonna go three racks and then three games in a row i'm gonna go cc first 
to an extent, the CC first is actually a safer build than when Rags expand. It's specifically safer against pool first. Because your command center is already done by the time the lings can come across in most cases. Of course, it's it's less safe against early uh, attacks, like roach, like quick roaches, very quick roaches, um, like 20 drones or less, or baneling bus, because you just don't have any units. Um, but against the earliest pulls and those early zerglings, you are a little safer because you can just retreat the command center. Well, DRG gonna spot the barracks timing, unless he's getting bamboozled by a proxy rex he knows that's a command center first. A couple queens on the way. Enough gas for speed. Starts it. Gonna be a reaper for cure. Still scouting with it. He already played the Battlecruiser card. Um, honestly, I think the Battlecruiser did fine. Like, the Battlecruiser was not a net negative in that game. It was just he, he didn't bring the army together in time. Uh, or efficiently enough. Before the Mutas came out. He got kind of blindsided by the Mutas. They are just kind of rare in, de in general. Like, you don't expect them. Uh, without scouting the spire. Wow, the greed. Did DRG see it? He sees it immediately. I mean, is there anything he can do about it? That's the more relevant question. No roach horn or anything yet. Zergling speed on the way. Starport's about to finish. Ah. Oh. Reaper jumped, but the zergling grabbed its leg on the way out. Come on, Cure. You know what I want. What I really, really want. Fusion! Core! Here we go again! But DRG with a lair already, we'll see. As Pure attempts the battle cruisers two in a row. Uh, this, unfortunately though, this is a stupid, like, I told you DRG likes Mutas. And he just saw with that third base an opportunity to rush Mutas. I don't... Yeah, this isn't a Nidus. This is a Spire Rush. Um. Wow. So... That doesn't necessarily mean Battle Cruiser is bad. Like, it... it the Tactical Jump is a lot of utility. But if he Tactical Jumps in and the Mutas, or even worse, Corruptors pop out... Well. That's... Subpar. And that is not an unlikely scenario. We'll see. He's gonna see the lair. Like, you gotta see the lair here. You, he, okay, he saw the lair building. That should be enough. Oh, he didn't kill the OV and he didn't see the gas. I, I mean, there's not much else to do here. He's going mech with an engineering base, so he knows what the threats are. He, I think he expects the Munis. <gasps> he canceled his edgy bay because he already had one and he forgot. The People's Terran and also has almost th nailed the three out of three in gas. <laughs> I... <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> The turrets, yeah, he knows. Ink, like, he didn't see the spire, but he saw everything but. He saw the late third, he saw the quick lair. Yeah. This is not a very subtle battle cruiser. He's not gonna jump it. Don't you dare jump it, you fool. 
This is a patrol cruiser. He's getting... Oh, he's just going mass battle cruiser. That's the strat. He's... You know, he looked at last game. He said, I know where I went wrong. Marines? No. Battle cruisers? Yes. All right. So, Kier has decided that the only issue with last game was not enough battle cruisers. Yamato cannons on the way. Turrets are done. The mutas have nowhere to go. The battle crews are gonna put a timer on anything they try to do. Unfortunately, the armory's built like right as the mutas were in the base, so a lot of information and delay there. Well, another command center. Is he trying to try to build a CC down there? Indeed he is. DRG sprinting into 80 plus drones. Here, adding the battle. He's got Yamato finishing up. Usually three cruisers is the minimum. We'll see here. Yep. It will be at least three. Five corruptors on the way as DRG starts to realize what we're dealing with. Uh, the Muta's going to try to pick off the mines, but a bit of a macro game so far. Has he shown the multi-cruisers? Well, Yamato's done, so... <laughs> the battle cruiser's on patrol. Going to try to use those tactical jumps on cooldown is the best, most efficient way to use the battle cruisers. If you're not using them on cooldown, you're kind of wasting a lot of the value battle cruisers add, which is just this constant, uh, repeated threat, like a tower defense game. Did you know there's a little animation when Yamato's done? The, like, energy cannon in the center chart, but uh, you can see it. Um, though you can't tell if it's off cooldown. We can just tell it's upgraded. He gets another... Jumps away. What am I... Wa oh my god, he's going through the back wall! He set the drones! Oh, Cure is not ready! DRG with a huge commit! He sends the drones to mine through, like, 20 drones! And Cure... Like, and, and suddenly, the back door has been opened! I don't, what a play! Um, but... Oh, the battle crew. That's way too many corruptors here. Wow, TRG. The people zerk. And the battle cruisers hunted down in their own base. The repair. Those SCVs are not an auto repair. The battle cruiser will just die. And and DRG has established a foothold, a beachhead, and the high ground vision is provided. Oh, double kill on the tanks. Though the corruptors can't add particularly they, they're gonna severely discourage did he just shoot himself in the face with corrosive bile accidentally the people zerg uh no he did it on purpose for intimidation there's one marine for anti-air as cure realizes he has to just out, try to out repair here um i believe that turret blocks the base from landing at the moment and he needs to stop moving his cut he just loses it Wow. Um. The people's Terran. Meanwhile, at the front. <laughs> I, uh, oh, God. Uh, they continue. Just lay it into each other. Some, uh, very strong attacks. Mostly hitting the mark. The thing is here, there's all these corruptors. They're they're all built with nowhere to go. He's got nine of them and nine mutas. He's gonna try adding more mutas. That's the play. He's taking air control. He's gonna try to keep it, which is a bold move against cyclones, turrets, widow mines. Uh, we'll see how it goes. He's that uh, it's a hell clone composition. The scan. Oh my god. He doesn't have a hive. He sees mutas popping out. 
he sees an infestation pit, so he could go to Hive, but DRG, DRG says, why would I go Hive when I could just make a bunch of mutas, which is an incredibly DRG move. We'll see if it works out for him. I don't... Well, the Zergling's being rusted. There's no blue flame, and it shows. Meanwhile, the Corruptors and the Mutas. The Muta count is too damn high. Cyclones are not going to be enough to deal with the weight. There's 18 Mutas. The Cyclones are way too clunky. They're driving over each other. Oh, the, the turret is actually getting a lot g done here, but there's not enough. There's no splash damage. The ground army. The turrets are not done. There's like two turrets over here. He's got, he's got plus two air attack. When did that happen? Oh, another two turrets in the mineral line, but the production itself, are there any Thors? One Thor in production. Turrets are taking a lot of damage from the Mutas here. I think he's gonna get, he's building a planetary, but that seems optimistic, and suddenly Cure's at 120 supply, DRG's maxed out. Wow. The Mutas were the ticket. No Thors, Hell Clone was probably not the right choice, though I doubt he expected such a commitment to the skies. But DRG, not once, but twice. The Muta is going to be his ticket. That punches him a victory. I, I, he's on the production. He can't build anything else to deal with the Mutas. That's it. Three to one. DRG takes it. What a mess. Cure, oh, an absolute brawl out there. Uh, as we see the two most quantity-oriented players. I love the series. DRG, a deserved win. Cure is best effort. Not quite good enough. And DRG moves on. But thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Check out that. Yeah, Jimmy, put that one up. That's the good one right there. They'll never know how good it is. Right? Yep, right there. If you don't see it, it's just because you haven't pressed the like button yet. But... Thank you for watching. I hope I made your day a little bit better. I'll see you next time. Good luck. Have fun. Stay chill.